going on guys it's the snow dog here today i'm going to be playing a grand challenge and giving you some tips and tricks about giant graveyard so that you can win your own grand challenge with giant graveyard so i played up to six wins already because i feel like getting six wins is not really that hard so i'll just be playing the last six wins of this grand challenge in this video and i'm going to be using this classic uh queen dark prince giant graveyard variation so this guy's going to start off minor, all Dark Prince, to catch it. Alright, so he's got Valk. Queen here. So this could be some kind of mortar deck with minor and Valk. Alright, so he's going to poison. So this is a really good opportunity to go in for a giant graveyard since poison is out of cycle. And... The queen died, unfortunately, but I will be able to arrow these minions and also hit the skeletons. So it's going to get about a thousand damage, 1500, so that's a good push. And he also had to use the queen ability, so I think I can just use a snowball to counter this queen. I don't have to waste my scar me. I'll use Skarmy the next time he goes minor, since it should be able to catch it easier than a Dark Prince. Okay, so he's actually going to go Defensive Mortar. I don't think that was a very good play. He should have went Offensive Mortar instead, because um, he's already really behind, and going Defensive is not going to help him get more damage. And I can just push into this, and like the Mortar is already half health right now. Okay, so I'm not going to graveyard with this push because he's going more aggressive. I am going to arrow, though, to kill that queen. So my queen is still going to survive. He's probably going to have to log it. Yeah, there's the log, so I didn't use the ability. Dark Prince. And I'm just going to go giant graveyard now. Or actually... I'll play my minions instead, because I have a feeling he would play his own minions. And... Okay. He defended that pretty well. But maybe I can still get Dark Prince on the tower. Yeah, he was forced to spend a Valk there. So I'll go Queen here. He probably poisoned, so that's good. So I'll go minions and then go giant graveyard at the bridge. And I don't see him defending this. So he's probably going to go minions pretty soon. Okay, so that's this is a good tip for giant graveyard. Um, if they have something like minions or guards or like goblin gang, if you arrows and you don't hit them, you can immediately snowball after you arrow. And they're, they're more likely to play that Swarm card since you just arrowed. So you can hit it with the Snowball and it'll have a like pretty much the same effect. So that was a pretty easy first win against a uh, Mortar Poison deck. So here we're in the next game against Hexaken God. Cod. I'm going to go Giant Opposite Lane for this uh, Giant Skeleton. I think if I pressure opposite lane, I can just use a Skarmy to defend this. Because it looks like he has a wizard. That's really interesting. Wizard and bandit. So this is going to be some kind of off-meta deck. I got two giant hits, which is good. Okay, so it looks like he has lumberjack. Kind of failed the snowball. I tried to hit the wizard and the lumberjack, but it was fine. I took about a thousand damage there. So I need to kind of figure out what his deck is, because it's really weird. Minions prevent the giant skelly from hitting my tower. Alright, so he's got balloon. So I don't have a great balloon counter in hand right now, so I'm, instead I'm going to be going in aggressive here to try to tower trade 
So it looks like I successfully tower traded, and my graveyard is going to kill his bandit, which is good. So generally in this, with this deck, you always want to try to tower trade with the opponent. And right here, I'm going to do uh, the most OP play with Giant Graveyard, which is just a uh, Giant Skarmy in the pocket. And I was able to predict his bats there, so that's going to be towered down. So generally with this Giant Graveyard deck, you always want to look for opportunities to go Giant Skarmy in the pocket. Because usually your opponent is not expecting that move, especially like at lower levels of the Grand Challenges and Ladder. And it, it's a good way to catch him off guard because the Skarmy splits up and attacks both towers. So we've got a pretty easy defense on his Lumberloon clone push there. So I can really just chill out now and defend. And yeah, it should be a really easy game. We were able to catch him off guard with the giant Skarmy in the pocket play. So since he committed a wizard there, I'm just going to go in. And I don't think he can defend this push. Yeah. So he's going to ignore his king tower and get three crown there. So with this deck, Lumberloon is pretty easy, honestly, because you have minions and queen. Such good air defense. And I guess... Like, a lot, one of the main mistakes I see people make when they're playing this deck is that they don't play aggressively enough, because this deck is not really a controlled deck where you're sitting back and controlling the pace of the game and defending. This is more of an up-tempo, aggressive deck that relies on really punishing your opponent for making the wrong moves at certain points in the game. So he's going to go wall breakers first play. So I'll just Skarmy it. Okay, so he's going to have Magic Archer. So it's probably the Remy Elite deck. Okay, so he has Drill 2. I'm going to get a Dark Prince down. So he did a pretty questionable NATO there, honestly. I'm hoping I can punish him for a little bit for that. Queen... Yeah, so Queen locked on the tower. So he really overcommitted with that NATO there. I'm going to wait for the ghost to lock on and then go Skarmy. Because now he has to respond to the Skarmy. And yeah, uh, I was looking for like Spear Goblins or something. But hit the Magic Archer. Alright, so he's got Drill. Okay, so this is not the Remy Ellie deck. It's actually that Drill Bridge Spam deck. But I have a pretty sizable lead right now. And it's really hard for him to break through. Okay, um... Yeah, that was pretty well played by him. I had the arrow to kill the wall breakers, but the, I didn't have enough elixir to play queen for the bandit. So, he has to respond to this queen. Okay. Queen still got a hit, which is good. So... I need to take his tower as soon as possible, since this deck is so good in a two-tower game. I'll just scar me on the ghost. Okay, he's actually going to NATO it. That's an interesting play. I'm just going to go, like, giant and graveyard here, just to take his tower. And his magic archer is probably going to die because the skeletons will kill it, which is really good. That's why I waited a little bit to play the graveyard, because I wanted him to commit some elixir in a spot where my graveyard could end up killing it. So he's going to waste a drill. So my queen is going to get a ton of damage on his left tower. And Okay, my dark prince is coming back. He did a pretty good nato, but it's not really going to do much for him. My skarmy already served the purpose. I had for it when I put it down. And, okay. I got two Dark Princes here. Unfortunately, he defended with the Bandit and Ghost pretty well. He's probably going to Wall Breakers. No? Okay. 
Mm, I'll just queen here to snipe the magic archer. And I'll use the ability to kill the bomb tower. He's probably gonna go in because he's he has to because he's pretty desperate right now. Alright, so that was a terrible magic archer. He has to NATO my giant away, but he doesn't really have a way to kill my graveyard, so that's gonna be game. So that's a pretty easy matchup. Uh, a pretty a good bridge man player would probably make it a lot harder, but that guy wasn't the best. So I was able to win pretty easily because I have Dark Prince for drill all the time. Um, he doesn't really have a big spell. So NATO is not the best against my deck since I have so many swarm cards. You really need something like Log or Poison for that crowd control. But yeah, so that was an easy three wins, three more wins to go. Up against Shiro. He's giving me the Goblin Fire emote. Maybe I'll give him my new emote that I got recently. So, with splitting Skelly Drags, it's probably Lava. Lava's a pretty easy matchup. Yeah, so there's the Miner. I'll just go Skarmy. Probably Zap. Okay, so there's Arrows. So that's good. I can use my minions freely now. I'm assuming he has the Lava Loon with Inferno Drag, Skelly Drag, Miner, either Guards or Barbarians, and Arrow Zap. Uh, let's see if I'm correct on that. So I'm just going to go in for a Giant Graveyard here. It looks like he has Tombstone. He might have Guards. Okay. He's just ignoring my Graveyard push, so he's going to lose his tower. He's going all in on offense. So I'm just going to queen here to kill some of the skelly drags. And yeah, um, okay. I have to arrow this. And he did not use the skelly king ability, which was really strange. So that's a pretty easy defense right there. If he used the skelly king ability, he definitely would have taken my tower. So I'm just going to queen ability there. Maybe get a little bit more damage on king. And here is another good opportunity to Giant Skarmy the pocket, especially since he just used Lava Hound. He can't arrow it fast enough. So those skeletons on the King Tower are going to put in a lot of work. He has to Mega Minion, so I'm going to Dark Prince. And he doesn't. He has to get Tombstone down, but he doesn't have enough Elixir, so Dark Prince is going to 3 crown him. So, Lava's usually a really easy matchup, especially when you have the version of Queen. There's not really much they can do to stop your giant graveyard pushes. Queen gets, Queen gets so much value on defense against Lava. Alright, let's give him the good luck. See what he's going to be running. Alright, so Cycle Snowball is usually a safe first play. Right, he got a snowball too, so I'll scar me the bridge. All right, he's got a ram rider. So the ram rider is definitely going to charge on my tower, but that's okay. I'm going to go giant and then minions here, because I think he has the bridge spam deck with mega knight and ram rider. And yeah, um, okay, that's kind of unfortunate. I thought that the Inferno Drag would get pushed out of range of the Giant. Unfortunately, it didn't, but his Mega Knight's already dead, so I don't have to worry about it. This deck was really popular a couple seasons ago, I think. This Mega Knight Queen Lightning Ram Rider deck. So I'm just going to see if he has Lightning by putting my Queen here. Okay, so you actually have Poison. So, Poison is worse than Lightning, because Poison means he can always counter my graveyard easily. Alright, he's going to use a Barb Barrel there. Alright, he's probably going to Prediction Snowball this, but Dark Prince Charging should kill the Bandit. Or the Ram Rider, yeah. And I'm going to go Graveyard here, because he doesn't have Barb Barrel or Snowball in the hand. So he has to Golden Knight, alright. 
Golden Knight is not the best. Is not the best thing to see because it does really well against my troops. Golden Knight will always like destroy your Skarmy and your graveyard, but dang, he got that dash off somehow. All right, he had to play Inferno Jag for the minion so I can queen them back. He can poison, but it won't kill the queen. So I'll go. Okay, um, I don't really know what he's doing. That was a pretty bad snowball. Because now I can go Giant Graveyard, and he has no way to defend this, really. Because I can just snowball arrows, and everything will die, pretty much. So this is a pretty easy matchup, even though he had poison. Uh, I was still able to find lots of opportunities to get my graveyard down. So I'm going to go like this. And Snowball, the Dark Prince is splashing on everything, so it's pretty easy to clean up there. So, Giant Graveyard is pretty weak defensively, but as you saw there, there are ways you can defend really well. Especially with catching them off guard with your Skarmy and using taking advantage of the Dark Prince splash. So it looks like we have one more game to go to win this Grand Challenge. So we're up against Hog Rider here. So, I'm predicting that he will play Hog. So, I'll, I'll have my Skarmy ready, maybe. So, he's not doing anything, so I'll cycle Snowball, see what he does. Alright, Ice Wizard. That's pretty interesting. It could be Ice Bow or Graveyard. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be Graveyard. So that's pretty unfortunate because uh, Splash Yard is one of the most difficult matchups for my deck. But uh, there's definitely still ways you can win. So he has to waste a Valk on the Giant there and a Nato. So that's pretty huge. Queen is almost going to kill the Valk. So I'll go Giant or Dark Prince there. And then, I think, okay, I'm going to let that go. He has to play Ice Wizard on that. And then I'm going to play Giant at the bridge. And yeah, he has to Baby Dragon, and he also has to Tombstone. So hopefully my minions can kill his Baby Dragon. Yeah, that was really nice. Oh, he Barbarled too? Okay, that's... That's got to be game, honestly. He has nothing for the Skarmy on the right lane, so I'm going to Snowball to slow down the tower. Okay, so I didn't take either of his towers, but I got a ton of damage, and I forced him to play an Awkward Ice Wizard. So that was a really, I think, in my opinion, it was really well played by me because um, I forced him to use the cards he didn't want to use to counter so I'm going to focus on use, taking the left lane here. Okay, I don't know what he's doing. That was a terrible poison. Because now I can just go Giant Graveyard. And it's definitely going to take his tower. I'll just arrow to make sure. Alright. Yep, so Giant's going to take the tower there. So now it's just a matter of defense. So he's probably going to go in the left lane now. So I'll, I'll block with a giant. And the good thing about minions is that they're pretty decent on graveyard defense since they take like three hits to die from the poison. And there's 15 seconds left. He doesn't have enough time to break through. So that's going to be GG against a pretty difficult matchup. I usually lose this matchup, but this guy's not the best. And I've played it so many times, I'm able to like calculate what they're gonna do so I was kind of predicting this guy so that was a pretty easy 12 win grand challenge I think it just shows how strong this deck is and how basically I think anyone can get at 12 wins grand challenge with this deck so I'll open up my chest here see if I get anything good oh a legendary ghost uh, I think that's decent
I don't think I'll ever use Ghost, but it's nice to get. So, if you enjoyed this Grand Challenge video, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, I'll definitely keep posting more videos in the future. So, see you guys later.